was six years. Um, it was last year when uh, we got integrated to the school, but then we looked around and uh, we didn't uh, kind of, I mean, we didn't get connected to those schools because we felt to be presenting there using the <laughs> So we decided to do consumer for it, uh, and uh, but we are also uh, process of learning. We we are learning few things from him as well. Uh, uh, so so one thing I I should is uh, to help him have his own freedom at home or whatever he wants to do at home in this age. But I was also constantly thinking like what other thing I should provide or uh, what other things I should. Enable my kid uh, so that he knows with the intensity that you are getting right now, right? So that he he comes to be of that intensity, he stays in that intensity. Right now I see a lot of bad in it when he is free, he is he's exploring and he is not attached to anything that much. But I'm also kind of thinking how to maintain it for him, so how to help him maintain it. And in the process maybe I also will learn from him. So, can you shed some light on that? You will need to provide yourself to him. Not toys, not books. I am doing that. Uh, one of the things that I also understood from your discussions was uh, you suggested we can raise it and patterns of mine. Uh, should I also do something like that at home so, uh, with a kid uh, to you suggested me to break patterns so that I understand certain uh, things that are not coming up that you need to find. To the kid also, should I break certain uh, you know, the patterns and follows and not? Obviously, you see, the kid will learn much more from your life than from your mere words or the toys, etc you bring for him or the facilities you provide to him. Hmm? It's very subliminal. The way you look at the kid, where you say it, the way your presence is in the house, the kid absorbs from everything. The television is on, the way you respond to a certain scene or sound the way you respond to a certain thing from the news channel to you it is an instinct instinctive reaction but the kid is watching and you cannot always be cautious that the kid is watching the way you really are would come out and get revealed to the kid your prejudices your beliefs your excitability your weaknesses your fears all will stand exposed because the home is the place <clears throat> where the tendencies of a person get a free run to express themselves. You might wear a garb in the office or in the street, but when you are at home, you say, I feel free to be myself. And when you are being yourself, the child is watching. Often parents think that kid is so small, what would he anyway understand? So a lot of discussions and quarrels and ugly spats all happen in front of the kid and the assumption is that the kid is not comprehending anything. But those are the moments when the kid is absorbing stuff fast and thick.
if the kid has observed half an hour of a fight at home then he has probably absorbed more than what he would usually absorb in a week's time the fights are usually not in the service of divine matters are they you fight for the sake of money or you fight because you are jealous or you fight because of unmet desires sexual needs and the kid is so while it is important to think of the kid it's a little more important to take care of oneself as a parent even without your conscious knowledge you would be helping the kid a lot with just your presence if you are an evolved being you won't even need to explicitly train the kid everything amounts to teaching your glance the pitch of your voice the loudness the way you construct your sentences the way you relate to the kid and to others around all of this is a form of teaching hmm and when you know what is good for you you would also know what is good for another human being which the kid is hmm 